They love West Virginia. Of course, that quarterback is Sam Ellinger. He gives way to Robinson, and look at the freshman. Bijan Robinson opens up this game with a jump play for the Longhorns. Finally tracked down by Tyke Smith for the Horns. Just a beautiful job, counter action in the backfield, and Texas is out the gate. Third down and seven now for the two-time captain, the veteran quarterback. As he's going to have a first down to the big body, Brennan Eagle, 6'4", 229 pounder from Houston. Have to continue to improve in this new passing attack. Here's Johnson straight ahead as he drags a defender, Chandler Samito, inside the five-yard line. So Sam Elliger, veteran, studies the film, looking over that defense, making his calls, third down and goal. Crossing route over the middle and into the end zone, Eagles. Very strong opening drive for the Horns. A seven-yard touchdown reception for Brennan Eagles. A mesh concept. So you're going to see the shallow cross concept coming right there. And you're going to see what we would call, if you're a defensive player, a pick. But if you watch hmm. on the left side, the tight end there, Jared Wiley creating a little bit of contact between the two defenders, which allowed Eagles to get free underneath. They'd run this play over and over and over again. And has really grown to become a real leader for this run-first attack that loves to use play action. Coming around this time is Bryce Ford Whedon with the carry. Daggy on third and ten. He's going to launch it downfield. Waiting for it downfield was Winston Wright, the sophomore from Savannah, Georgia. Wonderful catch, high pointing it there by Winston, kind of timing his jump and reeling it in while shielding off. Delay, Brown straight ahead, kept his balance and scores. Lenny Brown, ninth rushing touchdown of the season. And what a strong start here in Austin for both offenses. Case to get to the Big 12 championship. Both teams playing hungry. Letty Brown takes it in from the for the Mountaineers. 7-7 game here. A lot of intrigue and storylines around those two teams. Back to the ground with Robinson who spins and then tries to bounce it. A stiff arm. Another one as he rides it. Keeps his balance. They're going to say he stepped out. But I'm telling you, watch out for Mr. Robinson. And to spin so effortlessly. Look at this. Whoop. No problem whatsoever. And then the lateral agility and the stiff arm. Can we just talk about what he did to Alonzo Adai? Look at this stiff arm. And then Nick. Wrapped right around the receiver. Fortunate not to have a flag thrown there. Buczewski, nose down punt, reverse rotation, looking for the pin. And tremendous special teams coverage that time. How about it? Drop it in the bucket, young fella. And Woodard heads up, too. Keeps the ball out of the end zone. Second and ten. Tonkery comes. Ellinger over the middle. And that is a great effort. A flag is down. But Tariq Black, the senior transfer from Michigan, who's originally from Hamden, Connecticut. As you see that left hand there. You remember last week? will break the tie. Potentially four down territory too. They went for it in a similar situation a little earlier. Third and three. Ellinger pressure coming after him and Tockery trips him up and takes him down back at midfield. An upset of K-State comes up with this. A little twist up front as Tockery had a defensive lineman. Buczewski to punt. Remember Sinkville muffed it the last time. Could they pin him again? Yes, again. Two for two. Josh Thompson pins inside the five as the gunner, Buczewski, is having himself a day. Josh Thompson corralled it. And, man, deja vu. Second and nine. Play action. Daigie pressured and sacked. 
Taken down that time by Moro Ojomo. You watch him working right here against that right tackle. He just pushes and walks that right tackle right back into Daigie's lap. Jomo came up big there. And now Daigie trying to convert on third and 15. Fight for the ball, and somehow Estale came up with it. In your first down. Just great effort by Estale. I mean, it looked like that was going to be intercepted from the beginning. The ball didn't come out of Daigie's hands with the great velocity. It kind of died on him. But Estale, I mean, going up, leaping, grabbing the rebound, and stealing it away. Casey Leg comes on. And with his leg, he ties the game. 10-10. Excellent catch and run. Robinson keeps the balance. Ball's out. Ball is out, and it appears Joshua Moore was in the right place at the right time. Texas secures it, and it'll be a first down for the Horns. Talent, but the ball gets a little loose. You see that left arm kind of gets out away from the body. you got to have all those points of pressure. These guys practice at a high level, and, man, they execute at high level, too. Third down and 11. Ellinger going to the end zone again, and he's got it. Jake Smith, hook him. Watch that goal line. Yeah, oh, that's really close. See that right knee down. Is the ball across the plane at that moment? This will be a good look at it. Their knee down. Where's the ball? Remember, That's it doesn't have to be the knee either, right, John Perry? It could be that calf. It could be the shin. Anything other than the bottom of the foot, and they could rule him down. Right, John? You are absolutely correct. Remember, from this camera angle, the ball is going to appear to be pushed back into the field of play. This angle is going to appear to be further into the end zone. Clear and visual evidence? I don't think so. I would anticipate this based on what we've seen so far, to stand as a score. Came here and played at Lake Travis High School. Sinkfield, the return man for the Mountaineers. As he drifts back and now ends up with a good return. Look at this. Striding past midfield is Alex Sinkfield. So the Mountaineers will have great field position trying to tie it up. He empty set, third and goal. Looking to tie the game. Get him! DeMarvian overshown comes in like a missile. This is the left side of the offensive line. They're blocking these two, and as a result, overshown just shoots right through the left side A gap. The true freshman Zach Frazier at left guard doesn't adjust too late, and the agile and athletic overshown drops in the backfield for the sack. Casey Lay, 34-yard field goal. Not being 100%, you got to find other ways. They've been really creative with that so far. Second and four, Deggy, and he gets Simmons. Flag is down as Simmons makes his way past midfield. It's all the way back at the 20-yard line. And if you look at it, I mean, it was kind of blocked into it, but clearly as Deggy's in, the passing posture, I mean, he's protected. He's a defenseless player. They look his way again. He's at the top of the screen. Third down and three. Ellinger's going to run it himself and get it and more. Sam Ellinger out to the 35-yard line. Not recruited by the Horns. Which had that chip on your shoulder and went on to win the national championship for Bama against a certain team. To the 20-yard line. We'll see if it gets to that point. Here's Robinson out of the backfield and getting a big chunk play for the Horns and a first down. Right here, you're getting pressure. And what do you do? You swing your back out. Because West Virginia's selling out against the run. They got to make a play. Well, it's a great call by Mike Yersich, the offensive coordinator, acknowledging with how this thing unfolded. Everything that it's kind of a 50-50 toss-up, seemed to go against them. But both these teams put out great effort, and Texas keeps their hopes alive of a championship run.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.